We're here with Ken and Stephen, both residents of Washington, D.C., and we're in hide-and-seek. What do you gentlemen think of the exhibition? So far, it's fantastic. Love it so far. So you're both familiar with the controversy surrounding the exhibition and the fact that the David Wonorowicz video was pulled from the show. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it's sad that uh, certain factions of our government feel the right to uh, protect our, ourselves from seeing things that are artistic and beautiful and that they can't realize that everyone has a different uh, approach at life and, and, and viewing the arts. If it were offensive to 99% of Americans, perhaps there should be more oversight. But when it's clearly so one-sided and it was really just for political approach, you would think that the uh, Smithsonian would be able to have the, the courage to step back and say, you know what, we're, we're going to stand for the arts here. Um, I was sad to see uh, the piece go, but I'm also proud that the museum had the courage to uh, put the exhibit out there in the first place because everyone knows that's the first time in American history that we have had an exhibit like this. So um, definitely learning a lot about our history and um, enjoying it so far. So It's very different. It wasn't anything I was expecting. I actually came here for the Elvis and wandered in here. and. It's a little shocking, but once you get into it, you can. It, I think it was very well done. I, I heard that there was controversy. I don't know much about the piece that was pulled. What are your thoughts on on that pulling pulling an object of art to to placate part of the public? Well, I guess I have mixed feelings about it. Um, on the one hand, I think the controversial art is partially what art is about, being provoking comment. I do think, though, that if it keeps people from being able to see other pieces, that can be difficult. So there's a fine line. Um, actually, I was very surprised that uh, it was being pulled. Uh, this is the nation's capital. I would assume that if um, anything that they brought here was something that the people needed to see, um, so I was disappointed that I wasn't able to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I know it's in another gallery currently. Um, I hope to see it. Um, but overall, I'm very, very pleased at the whole Hide and Seek exhibit. Um, this is actually my fourth time coming. Um, and I brought, every time I bring a different set of friends and everybody is very uh, happy that the nation's capital actually has an exhibit like this because some cities won't do anything like this. What's, uh, what's your favorite object that you've seen in the show? I actually don't remember the name of it, uh, but it's two men that are sitting together and because of their body positioning, uh, they look as if they're just best friends, but if you look a little bit closer, you'll notice that their hands are actually touching so that you can tell that they're lovers. It's kind of um, you can tell they're in a relationship that they love each other, but they're not throwing it into everybody's face. So it's a very nice portrait of the two of them. Um, so far I've enjoyed it. I've noticed some things about gender and sexuality, and I enjoy when people kind of push those boundaries in art, like using artistic expression to do that and to bring up issues. It's, it's art. It's what it is. You know, if it's offensive, don't go look at it, you know. It's like, change the channel. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, there's an awful lot that's offensive to me that I don't protest, you know, so. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, I actually came because of the reviews and sort of the uh, controversy that was coming as a result of it. And um, I was actually surprised at how much the controversy was just rather than just looking at the show as a whole. Um, it's sorry to see that one piece created so much controversy because as a whole, the show is just absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I think it's perfect timing to have a show like this, uh, talking about sexuality, uh, because you know, with Don't Ask, Don't Tell, you know, discussion about DOMA, um, and that sort of thing, you know, and you know, legislation being passed within the states for same-sex rights, um, it's important to have something like this. That's been, you know, this sort of discussion and dialogue has been happening in the art world for a while, and it's sort of been largely ignored in the mainstream, or, you know, you talk about people like Andy Warhol, where people largely ignored that fact and just saw something other than, you know, Andy Warhol's sexuality or something like that. So it's good to see something where the main premise of it is discussion about 
sexuality. What was your favorite su subject or your favorite work in the show? Um, I'm personally a Keith Haring fan, um, so it was good to see his uh, unfinished work. I had actually never seen um, that piece personally, so it was good to see that. And then also being from Pittsburgh, I'm kind of biased towards Andy Warhol. Uh, we have a pretty nice collection of his in downtown. So um, it was good to be, see both of them, but there was a lot of photography that I had never seen before, a lot of artists I had never heard of before. So it was, um, it was definitely a new and unique experience for sure. We're here with Ellen. Ellen, you said you had heard of the controversy of the National Portrait Gallery pulling the David Wanarowicz video. Yeah, I knew there was at least one um, piece here that had been taken removed after there had been some complaints about it. What were your thoughts on that? I'm kind of disappointed. I now I have to tell you I haven't seen it, so I don't know what was in it. But it seems to me that if we're going to protect the idea that of free speech and whatnot, then it should be here. And if people don't want to see it, then they don't have to watch it when they come through. And Ellen, are you, are you okay with the subject matter of the show? I am. I don't have any problem with it. I think it's an interesting to look at the history and to see from more hidden to more open and just watching how things have changed. Do you have a favorite piece so far you've seen? Um, no, not really. Nothing yet. Nothing has really jumped out at me. Um, I did like the arrow. Um, advertising. I like that era, and the other, but I never would have looked at it before and seen the smaller messages or the little details in it before now. Thank you so much for your time, Alan. We're very grateful for your comments. Thank you. Uh, I haven't seen the entire exhibit yet, but so far it's wonderful. There's a wonderful collection here and some of my favorite pieces all in one room, so that's nice. We're glad to hear that. Now, you're aware of the controversy surrounding the removal of the Wanarowicz video. What do you think of that? Uh, I thought it was a dreadful shame. Uh, I thought that the politicization of that particular piece within the context of this exhibit and the fact that one man who has a loud voice in a tiny group uh, was able to sort of collect enough political outrage from enough politically powerful people that uh, that piece could be removed. And I emailed a number of people at the Smithsonian to express my outrage. I live in San Francisco, but I used to live in DC. I'm back visiting and obviously wanted to come see the exhibit myself. We're glad you're here. What's your favorite work inside the show? So far, uh, still one of my favorites, the Romaine Brooks self-portrait. Whenever I'm back in DC, I come to visit it. Thanks for talking with us, Kanani. All right, thank you. I think it's fabulous. I think it's long overdue. And I came down to Washington specifically to see this show. Um, I've only seen about a quarter of it so far. I'm enjoying the labels. And um, it's just, it's a great show. I'm impressed that the National Portrait Gallery supported the project and dismayed by the fuss that's been churned up around it. But overall impressed that they stood behind the project. What, what I didn't expect is to see the art is just incredible. I mean, it's the art that I'm much more passionate about. It's not really that it's gay or straight or, or whatever. It's really more that the exhibition itself, the art, it's, it's just fantastic. I've been uh, slowly where I'm working my way around, and um, I think it's, it's really neat to have this uh, publicly uh, recognized, I guess, like to have... Um, gay artists and uh, lesbian artists publicly recognized and have it put together as one exhibition um, from all different parts of the museum and different museums. So. Well, um, I've very much enjoyed it so far. I've um, been around this half of it. Can't wait to see the more modern works. <laughs> Zoe, how about you? Yeah, no, I really like the exhibition. I think it's great. How many times have you seen this? Yeah, this is the third time I've come to it. So. <laughs> so you know about the controversy where the video Fire in My Belly was pulled. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I was outraged when I heard about it um, at first. And um, I have started petitioning uh, at my university, Occidental College and uh, sending out like links to the online um, petition to have the piece brought back. Um, and I've been following the, uh, the guy who brought in the, uh, the video 
and um, you know various talks by the curator and um, yeah I'm very um, upset and disappointed that the piece can't be here you know as an artist um, I'm definitely for me good art is art that creates your um, emotional reaction and even if that reaction is bad that's still that's art and so I think I kind of see that here too as well that even though there's been a lot of reaction and people are angry in a way as an artist I'm like all right that's great like turn it up you know and let's talk about it so we're here with Steve Steve what do you think of the exhibition hide and seek I think it's a fabulous exhibition and I'm I'm really happy that the Smithsonian and the portrait gallery um, put it on well, obviously, it's public money, so members of Congress are going to have some views about it. However, I don't think that um, because one tiny element of society makes a, uh, you know, has a complaint that something should automatically get shut down with lightning speed, which is what happened in this case. I think you know every aspect of society. We're all taxpayers. We're all, we're all, we all deserve to be represented in museums like this, and to single out one group and say, you know, that's controversial and cut the funding, it seems to me very unfair. This is John. John, where are you from? Washington, D.C. And what do you think of the exhibition, Hide Seek? Well, as I was saying a moment ago, it's, it's very intimate and it's very lovely and I didn't find anything about it that was extremely controversial or off-putting. It was just very, very sweet and it brings the viewer into all of the images, whether they're photography or paintings or, or any of the media, it just it feels very, uh, very close and very human. And uh, you used the phrase a moment ago, uh, the, the American landscape. How do you see the works in this show fitting into? Well, it, it just seems to me that this is a part of all of our history as Americans, whether you're gay or straight or whatever your orientation is or your belief in, in where it comes from. It, it was very nice to see this as a part of, of who we are as Americans and how, how parts of our society were presented through the, from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s. And this is obviously a part of our life, and it's part of all of our lives.